make of the clamor to have EACC uh, get prosecutorial powers? I think personally I would support that. Um, then we would have to adjust our laws to accommodate, to share the power to prosecute. At the moment, the decision to charge, the power to conduct criminal prosecution in courts is exclusively reserved for the DPP. But if you look at the United Nations Convention Against Corruption, it states that investigation investigation, prosecution of corruption cases requires an expert institution. Ideally, DCI should not even be investigating corruption-related cases. The expert institution should be the EACC. Now, there is no dispute or contestation about EACC's mandate to investigate corruption-related offenses. I think the conversation is, should EACC investigate and also prosecute. The reason why ESCC does not have express mandate to prosecute is because you then collapse into one organ the power to investigate and prosecute. And I think in terms of the architectural design of the constitution that requires that power be shared, so the distribution, the, the division, separation, distribution and dispersal of investigative and prosecutorial powers would then be inimical to that if we recentralize the investigative and prosecutorial powers back to the ESCC. If ESCC, in short, does not have the power to prosecute, it will be because we are not, we are not able to create a balance or an internal mechanism for checks and balances within ESCC so that we can say, ESCC investigates, then ESCC prosecutes. That is where the challenge would be. As it is, I think we I would argue that we exclusively reserve the role of investigation to ESCC when it comes to corruption-related offenses and that we discourage or remove in its entirety DCI from conducting corruption-related investigations. Then. We are only dealing with two entities. So at the moment, Olive, you have corruption cases being investigated by DCI and parallel investigations also being conducted by ESCC. But then at the level of prosecution, prosecution is done by the DPP. Maybe it's time to audit the cases that have been finalized and perhaps lost in court. Who are the investigative agencies? I'd like to believe that there should be a very low threshold of, con of acquittals in cases investigated by ESCC. ESCC is the expert institution that should be well equipped, capacitated to be able to investigate. At the level of uh, prosecution, I think ESCC maybe should continue to provide expert support to the DPP. Because whereas I'd be happy to see ESCC prosecuting corruption cases, I've highlighted the problem with collapsing the power to investigate and the power to, inve to prosecute in one institution. Mm -hmm. Because that is where we came from in the pre-2010 dispensation. Remember, we used to have police investigators and police prosecutors in the magistrate's courts. And it's only at the high court where you had state council or prosecution councils taking over prosecution of criminal cases. The reason why we removed the power to prosecute from the, from the National Police Service, for instance, was to not only professionalize prosecution services, but also to remove the twin powers of the investigator also acting as the prosecutor. And I think there would be challenges trying to return back to that pre-2010 experience.